here I have a four inch piece of archival drawing paper, acid free paper, and I'm going to show you how to fold the paper into the Miura Ori map fold. I'll have a four rows, four columns, and then I'm going to show you how to color it with oil pastels. To begin we take the sheet of paper and we begin dividing it in half. We're now going to take these four levels and cut them in half with our um, folding sequence. And we're going to bring edge to edge, edge to edge, edge to edge, and edge to edge. That will be enough for this small four inch piece to start the main folding. We're now going to take these eight pleats and make a equilateral triangle. So there's an imaginary line which comes down by the bottom of this point and we're going to f try and find 60 degree angles. So if you had x-ray vision, you'd be able to see that there's a back line here. And that back line formed with this line and this line need to make an equilateral 60-60-60 triangle. So it should look like this. And repeat in an accordion fashion that 60 degree equilateral triangle. And you're complete once this side leaves no extra paper to come below this line there. So these creases here need to be fairly sharp. As so. And remember that we started there. We're going to now change the orientation of the top creases and notice that my, th my thumb forms a depression and as I move down the line I have the back pleats here already in the correct way. Okay, so the up and down fold the first sequence. So this needs to be an equilateral triangle. So as you um, adjust some of the creases, 
be mindful that the triangle shape here is um, all of even sides and of, of even angles. So I'm using my finger to push push the mountain part of the creases. You may notice that my creases here are a little bit short. So at any time, you can go back to your stage and straighten out the creases. So I want this progression to continue. So I'm gonna recrease here and recrease there. Otherwise my creases look mostly uh, proper. So that is the map fold and uh, this is the start, this is the finish and I would say it would look good to color this zigzag area gray, and then this area white. So I've got my white here, and I've got my gray here. So you can um, see uh, how this uh, starts. The Muir map fold has a lot of variation in the height of the creases as the surface uh, folds and unfolds. By coloring it, you're showing uh, details about the height. You can see that the creases go here and you'll want to color in between those lines With pastel, it's not important to be too careful about going across lines because the creases are so exact. You can see that it's already starting to take shape. with a look like this. So I'm going to show you the version that I've already completed here. And this is a slightly larger one, but I completed the colors. And I leave it up to you to decide what exactly this might apply to. It's a very open coloring. It's abstract. Thank you for watching.